Betty White didn't just get better with age, she got funnier and raunchier. I have loved Pink's hot dogs forever and ever. So when they said they were going to, well, that's obscene. When they said they were going to. Do you think you can get away with it more? Oh, sure. I'm 88 years old. You can get by with murder at this age. Betty was born in Illinois in 1922. Her family moved to Los Angeles during the Great Depression. After graduating from Beverly Hills High School, Betty began performing on radio and the experimental new medium of television. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment. Soon after, she became one of the first bona fide TV stars. She acted in and produced the hit 1950 show Life with Elizabeth, which earned her the first of more than half a dozen Emmy Awards in 1952. She then moved on to star in Date with the Angels. In the 1970s, White was introduced to a new generation of fans with her Emmy-winning run on The Mary Tyler Moore Show. We're all very grateful for the fact that we love each other and we have always gotten along. Just think if it had been one of those shows where we don't speak. <laughs> that wouldn't have been any fun. At the age of 63, White landed one of her biggest career breaks, starring on the hit NBC show, The Golden Girls. The show earned White another Emmy and two Golden Globe nominations and introduced her to yet another new generation of fans. After starring in a popular Snickers commercial, fans launched a Facebook campaign to get her to host Saturday Night Live in 2010. It worked, and she became the oldest and one of the best hosts in SNL history. When I first heard about the campaign to get me to host Saturday Night Live, I didn't know what Facebook was. <laughs> and now that I do know what it is, I have to say, it sounds like a huge waste of time. <laughs> White parlayed that hosting gig into a starring role on the TV land show Hot in Cleveland, which won her another Emmy and two SAG awards. In addition to acting, Betty has served as the ambassador for animal rights, donating hundreds of thousands of dollars to the L.A. Zoo. Perhaps the only thing she enjoyed more than helping animals was being in front of the camera. And when I asked her what kept her going after eight decades in Hollywood, she said it was the eternal joy and gratefulness for her career. I've been around so long they can't get rid of me. <laughs> 63 years is a long time to hang in at this, and who would have ever dreamed that at 90 years old you'd still be privileged to be asked to do stuff. And I, I, am, I don't take it for granted. I taste every minute of it.